Brand new Chris Brown, T Pain. You heard it here first. Nappy Boy Radio. We love you. Jamaican crab have to be outside. So we're going to be seeing it. Together. Say hi to my vlog. Hi. Um, so we're going to be seeing that in a few we just had like Mexican food. So that's what you guys would have seen in the previous clip. So we're going to be um, taking some pictures and some videos for TikTok and all the social media. Hi guys, welcome back to the video. Did I say that? Yeah, I had two drinks. <laughs> And it's already getting to my head. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, I had two drinks, guys, so bear with me. But yeah, let's get into the video. Um, hope that you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I said that already. And yeah, let's go. So, guys, we're going to get some food. What theater are we going to? Where is the kid them there? Yeah, the QR code or something. Okay. So I need popcorn because I know myself. I'm going to have the munchies. like I haven't vlogged in so long so today is the day or the night after my trip to the theaters to see um I was why, why was I about to see a little miss red riding hood riding hood um so I saw little the little mermaid yesterday and I'm doing my skincare right now I was so tipsy last night guys in addition to that like tipsy and sleepy like that's not a very good combo <laughs> you know what i'm saying that kills the vibes but i'm not usually one who drinks past my limit but the drinks at the i only had two drinks first of all let's just put that out there two drinks two drinks you know and i tell you like after the first but i should have known better because the drinks at that restaurant is like really strong and I should have known better like after the first drink i had a moscow meal was the first drink that i had and i already was feeling the vibes and i went ahead and i ordered a margarita a classic margarita which in and of itself was strong like it was really really strong so by the time i got to the theater to go in, to buy popcorn and everything and go inside i was I was feeling it the drinks were speaking to me you know what i'm saying yeah i need to 
I'm at the age now where I can't be acting a damn fool. I've never gotten drunk and that was the closest to drunk I've gotten. Am I the only one who has never been drunk ever? I feel like most people, first of all, I didn't have my first taste of alcohol until I was about 18. Unless you want to include alcohol in like fruitcakes and stuff like that. Which of course I would have been exposed to because that's like a Jamaican thing. Which is ironic because my parents are Christian Christian. But I guess the rule was put on pause or there was an exemption for Christmas cake or fruit cake. Anyways, so I've never had like a high tolerance for alcohol. And over the years I've just been cutting back on alcohol. I used to be able to drink a, a whole bottle of wine and not feel any way but i realized i was a little bit too dependent on wine or i felt like yeah, it was too much so i cut back and i really don't drink unless i'm out socially or when i'm having one of those moments where i go to the supermarket and buy myself a glass of a, a, a bottle of wine i should say um, but yeah, the Little Mermaid was nice. I recommend, I, I wouldn't say you have to see it, but I went in support of um, Halle because I want to, to show up and support because this is not something that happens very often. Seeing a woman who looks like her um, portraying something that has been historically a white fictional character and I made sure to put the fictional in there because I know that there has been so much talk about you know is Ariel white or black and people are up in arms about the, the skin tone of a fictional character everybody's okay with the idea of mermaids which I'm not even going to get into that debate if mermaids are real or not and we're okay with talking crabs and talking fish but we draw the line at the skin color of a fictional character which is bizarre but that's the nature of the world that we live in so i just put on my toner i'm using this toner at night um in the daytime this is the one i use it's this popular very popular um toner from a japanese brand so this is what i use and yeah so i also have been using this different adapalene gel so this is the gel that i have been i have been using at night and it's been helping with um my my breakout i had a mini breakout on my face and it's really been helping with with that oh. so i use it once a night at once a day at night and it i have i have noticed chain but i know it's going to take a while for the skin i want to actually come but i know with the way my hormones is set up i'm not even going to get my hopes too high so i keep my nighttime routine very very simple so i use the toner i just showed you um and then i use this right here and then i go in with my snail mucin this is my 10th or 11th bottle, bottle i'm joking it's not that much because a little goes a long way i literally just do two small pumps or you can just do one big pump and then just massage it into my skin but i haven't been vlogging too much so i figure let me just turn the camera and talk to you guys a lot has been happening you guys know i work every day so i'm really busy and um, i started a new gym because my old gym is closed down for renovations and i am not enjoying my new gym primarily because i don't know one they have a lot more rules at the gym that i go to and it's so annoying in japan that, that there's so many rules and dare i say so many unnecessary rules like you can only use certain machine like 20 minutes at a time at my previous gym there was no time limit that's one two the new gym has it's new a lot of the, the equipments are new and this is going to sound weird but i'm not a big fan of equipments that are new i like them a little broken into 
because when they're new i don't know it, it's just a personal thing or maybe because i became so accustomed to the machinery at the previous gym that i went to so i don't know it was not give me the little buzz i want and the per and, and it feels a little bit impersonal again perhaps that's because i'm used to the old gym where there was somebody always in the gym and i developed a relationship with the staff there so yeah that's that's all i gotta say the biggest don't the biggest minus for me at that gym that i go to they have a smith's machine but it doesn't go low so i can't do my hip thrust on there and that's like my number one glutes growing exercise um so yeah that turned me off immediately but the other option was the gym across the street which would have been double the amount that i'm currently paying for that i'm used to paying for um in monthly membership the last thing i wanted to talk to you guys about quickly is this body oil here i bought this recently on iherb by the way guys i do have an amazon storefront i know i don't talk about it too too much but it's always linked in my description box if you are interested in any of the things that you see me talking about even though i purchased some of the things off of other sites i've also linked made an amazon storefront because i know that majority or a lot of the people who watch my youtube channel is um, resides in the united states or live in western countries and many people have access to amazon us so i do have a storefront if you are interested in these items that you see me talking about um they're linked in my amazon storefront so that's the first thing um if not if you're in japan you can always go on the iherb app and find these things because i did buy this here this body oil off of amazon not amazon iherb I've been really enjoying this so i have been enjoying tiktok more than instagram these days i spend a lot more time than i'm used to than i'm used to on tiktok and i saw that they're talking about like how to get softer glowy skin now, i've always been like a butter oil girl um but apparently the the trick to having soft skin and to maximize the use of your body oil is to use it directly after you get out of the shower now them said drenched skin but me not like the feel of the the, the oil i'm um, drenched skin so for me personally what i do is i lightly dry my body but still leave it damp and then i go in with the body oil and and then when i get out of the shower i use either my mango butter or my shea butter or whatever lotion or butter that you you have use that and then you could probably go in with another oil if you're feeling frisky like that but my skin has already been feeling really good and i feel like it's definitely way more effective but it feel nice nobody not feel it but me i tell you say it feel nice yeah but it feel nice and then i put on my perfume at the end of the evening stroll into bed which is which i'm about to do right now because it's minutes to nine and i have work tomorrow um yeah today has been a really hectic day because i came home like 12 25 in the morning and then i went i just came home took off the makeup and dressed and went straight to bed and then this was my first full day on my period tmi i know and then i had to work most of the day today also had like parents observation which meant that i had to put on a show for the parents but thankfully like the parents at my saturday school they love me like all of my observations today were excellent like all of them were extremely satisfied they had nothing but high praises um so that makes me happy and that makes me feel like my work is 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 doing something and it's valued because i got a lot of good feedback tomorrow i'm not even going to talk about my sunday school my sunday school is like the antithesis of my saturday school classes so i'm not even going to get into that i'm just going to end this right now i don't know when i'm gonna pick you guys back up but i wanted to check in with you guys uh, i hope that you guys have been doing well and if you have seen the little mermaid let me know if what your thoughts are in the description box in the description in the comment section below yeah and if you intend on watching the little mermaid 
you know let me know as well it's been shown in japan we it's premiered it premiered yesterday which is the 9th of june which is later than most of the rest of the world but at least it's sure because japan have a style anything we have to do with people like me they're not sure so but not too, too tough but it's disney so i expected it to be shown anyways i'ma see y'all when i see y'all and when i see y'all i'll see y'all okay Hey y'all, I'm I zoomed in. It's Thursday. It's been <laughs> a long time since I picked up the camera. Calm down. So I got home and I um I don't know if you guys can hear, but if you can, that's my air fryer going off. I am currently doing attempting to do some meal prep. Today was exams and I was sent home early. Yay me because I had nothing to do like my schedule is literally clear for today and tomorrow so today's a Thursday so I'm still in my work clothes because in about 45 minutes or so I have to head back out to work it's raining but even though it's raining I have to have the AC on because it's still humid so I decided to just pick up the camera there should be a Shein package coming in as well I'm hoping that it gets here before I go because I scheduled rescheduled the delivery or the redelivery for three to six hoping that it would arrive or it will arrive by the latest 4 15 because I have to leave out well maybe before that because I have to leave out to get to work by 4 30 thereabouts yeah so I, I want the thing I ordered is for is a organizer because I keep my realistically I keep my um my skincare products on the on the on the table if you want to call it that I guess it's a table right here my apartment if you know it's very small so I'm I don't have a lot of space and I just feel like the most practical and convenient thing is for me to have it here but I also have like all my supplements on the other side and I, I'm embarrassed to show what it looks like on camera so I'm not showing you guys I can show you guys like the, the skincare part but yeah I ordered an organizer off of Amazon off of Shein sorry because I want to um, get some semblance of organization it, it's just not giving even though I don't have people over um, that's no excuse I should have a, a nice looking house because you know if a group Caribbean parents are always like oh what if you drop down and somebody come over your yard and da, 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 da. so yeah it's that but I'm also working on my laptop I have something I'm working on not a little my business <laughs> but yeah I have something working on so yeah let me show you guys the area that I'm talking about so this is my skincare products after I get out of the shower it just don't look good to me so i ordered something that hopefully will help me to organize this area so that's what i'm expecting pretty soon also where is it i had it just now guys also there's something i wanted to show you guys quickly before i end this portion of the video so i have acne as you guys can see i have a lot of spots and all of that if you're in japan and you're looking for like a spot care patch let me show you guys what that looks like i have been really liking this because it has it's very um in what's the word it's not it's an incognito you just it's it blends in because i have one right on my face right here and it's very skin inconspicuous is the word that's the word i was looking for it's very inconspicuous so you can wear this put your makeup over it and it will just seamlessly blend it is super thin and it works just well just as fine as the other ones that i've used it's probably the best one i've used i got this in mega don quixote so if you want to take a picture screenshot whatever you need to do if you're in japan um i think this was um like 600 yen and you do get quite a lot in various sizes let me just quickly open it for you the top also comes with like a ziplock thingy so it's reusable so it comes like this and 
it comes with a variety of sizes and I already ripped off one of the top ones here and as you can see I'm already gone through this row and this row already because I break out like a mother lover um, I don't know I don't know if it's because I'm in Japan but my skin has just not been just has not been cooperating with me anyways just wanted to check in with you guys quickly and yeah hope that you guys are doing well it is rainy season which is a little annoying especially when it comes down to doing my laundry because as you know in Japan we hang our stuff outside and if it's raining outside then we can't dry our stuff and inside the bathroom isn't the most convenient because it's a bathroom it's not sunlight you know what I mean but yeah I'm gonna head to work in a few so I'll see you guys and I see you guys party people back in the same place but several hours several hours have passed so one of the cool things is god is a god of good timing <laughs> you know what i'm saying so when i was leaving out for work for my part-time job like legit remember i told you guys that i rescheduled a delivery for for the package i ordered off of she in like legit as soon as i was about to walk out the house my doorbell rang and i was like he's an on time guy yes he is so this is what it looks like i paid 1000 something yen i used my points on she in um and this was like for 900 yen something shipping was like 400 something but like i said um i use my points so it was a lot less so i'm going to go ahead and set this up right right now it is 9 38 i should be in the shower getting ready to go to bed but i wanted to do this right right now because i'm excited and frightened bad 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 i also had to stop at the convenience store and buy food for lunch tomorrow because i did not do the adult thing and adequately prepare myself for the entire week so make get where you don't get um i always do not follow that korewa do this ah soko ah okarimashita hi okay guys so this is what it looks like so this is the size of it nothing extra nothing major so i'm gonna go ahead now and try to see how much or how many things i can get on here um perhaps i'll need to buy some vertical organizers so that i can maximize the space but i'm gonna see what it's giving right now and then make a decision as as it relates to what i can do to maximize the space so let's do that right now love yours Ugliness and the success Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less Compared to some of my niggas down the block Okay guys, so It looks so much better right now um, My table still needs to be organized And I need to put away a few things Like this, there's nothing in there So I can get rid of this bottle But yeah, let me show you guys the finished product If you haven't seen already So this is what it's looking like right now um so like i said my table is a hot mess i need to like organize everything and i need to buy a placement mat but this looks so much more organized so these are all the supplements that i'm currently or or most of the supplements that i'm taking with the exception of this which we need to finish off as well as this 
but for the most part these are the things that i take um daily and then on top here i have all of my all of the things that i use when i get out the shower right now and yeah this is this is so much more organized this is so much more neat so i'm very happy with this purchase i'll go ahead and link this in the description box below if you're interested easy to set up and i just think this makes a world of a difference there's so much more organization going on and once i clear the chaos that's happening on here it will look so much better so you yeah, guys it is very late well not that late but late i'm usually in bed by this time but it's a thursday so things are usually a little bit different so i'm going to try and clear up this area here and then head to the shower and uh, get ready for work another day of sitting at my desk and doing absolutely nothing but it is what it is so yeah i want to see you guys in the next clip so see you there. hey y'all it's friday it's me again <laughs> from the same position it's not intentional but i just came home from the gym oh i had upper body day and i had to come home and make a shake because i was really low on energy still feel low on energy and i'm feeling tight in this area Ugh. Yeah, so I went to the dollar store and I got myself a few things. So the first thing I got is this placemat here because I currently don't have a placemat. And I just think it's absolutely ghetto to be consuming food without placemat. It just makes the table look bare. Um, I tossed the one that I was using previously because I felt like it wasn't giving what I wanted it to give anymore. And I felt like I outgrew that yeah and i just didn't like it to be honest so I, I changed to this woven kind of one that is thicker and smaller and goes better with the space i also decided to change my my lunch bag so this one is for 220 inclusive of tax um i wanted to change my lunch bag because i just realized that i've had my lunch bag for a very long while and it's it's looking like i've had it for a very long time so i just decided to get this simple bag to put my lunch in and i'm headed to work got these cotton pads because needed for my sons not my sunscreen for my face routine i got a couple of other things from i got a couple of other things from the supermarket like nothing major like grapes a can oh does that text me a big old cantaloupe and uh, some doritos because in life everything is balanced so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right now it's friday it's 30 minutes after seven i want to take a shower and start getting ready for work tomorrow so if you made it this far in the video i didn't even intend on this video being as long as it is right now i don't even know how long it is but i didn't intend on it being long <laughs> anyways if you made it this far don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i will see you guys in the next one love you for watching bye